In Barbara, everything is about managing uh, edge nodes and applications or AI models. So let's see how. I'm logging into the platform. This is Barbara Panel. Barbara Panel is the main component of uh, the platform. This is the, the management dashboard that allows you to control and manage all your edge nodes and the applications that are running on them. So this that you are seeing is my list of nodes. I have just three in my case, but you can have as many as you want. Uh, you can view them as a list, as a grid, or if you have input some uh, coordinates, you can see them also as a map. You can add no, uh, more nodes to your list by just clicking new node. I'm going to do that. Uh, input some uh, ID, put it a name. I'm going to name it my it's node 4 and click on create. So it will start uh, registering the device. It will send some orders to the device. The device will uh, eventually come online. But let's see details on one of my devices, my edge node. This is the, the edge node details view. So here, um, the information is organized in cards. I'm going just to, um, to expand some of them so you can see the information. Cards are these small widgets that contain specific information about one topic. You can, through them, uh, read information, but also do some actions. You will see that every node has, by default, uh, some general purpose cards. For example, the general information, general info, that has some information about the, the node, as you would expect. You have the analytics and the telemetry cards that gives you an idea of the health of the device. You can monitor some variables here. And you have also the, the networking card. The networking card gives you information and allows you to make some changes about the configuration of, the, of your interfaces, of your network interfaces. But cards are also the way you can deploy applications and AI models to, to an edge node. Uh, let's see how, for example. Just by clicking it to add card, you will be able to select the type of card you want to deploy. In my case, I'm going to deploy an application, specifically an application that comes from the marketplace. I will tell you later why it's the marketplace. So I choose the application I want to install or deploy, choose the version. I'm going to pick the latest one. Makes configuration changes here. I'm going just to leave everything um, as it is by default and click send. Once you click send, let me just collapse this one, you will see that a new card appears with the name of your application. This is the, the, the card that contains all the information related to this app and allows you to manage this application. In my case, I have launched um, a visual dashboard, Grafana. Grafana, um, it's contained as an application, it's contained within a Docker, so I have deployed a Docker file here in the log you will see all the related information about the, 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 um, the Docker being installed in the, in the device. Okay? So this card, as I mentioned before, is the way you can operate with or you can manage the, the application. You can, for example, stop the application just by clicking stop. It will uh, eventually stop. You can rerun the application by clicking start. You can check the, the logs over here. You can uh, update the application in case there is a new version by clicking here. And you can also uninstall the application directly. So uh, application is as, is as simple as, as removing the card. Once you remove a card, you delete all the information that is uh, on the device related with, with this card, in this case, the application. The applications that you can install on a device that you can deploy um, are only those that are contained in your library. You have a library of applications and AI models, which is here. And you can see here my list of applications. So if I want to add an application that is not on this list, I will have to previously upload it to this list. This is my personal library. So to add a new application, you just have to click in new, 
select the type of, of, of item you want to upload. It would be an application or an AI model. In my case, I'm going to upload an AI, an AI model that I have in my computer. Um, you fill in this information. You can add an image, for example, that will be used as an icon once you enter into the details of the application. Um, you can put a name to this. I'm going to simply call it my AI model and just leave the rest of the information blank and create it. So far, I have created like a, like a folder, which is called my AI model, but I have no uh, real data on that. I have no the application, the, the, the application on that. So I need to add a version, at least one version. If not, I won't be able to, uh, to deploy it to anywhere. So by clicking here, you can add versions to, the, to this application. I'm going to upload uh, the zip file I have here. And you could add some notes and click on create. So you will see it's uploading. And there you go. So I have now this application on my library. So if I now go to my edge node, and try to deploy a new model, I will see that in the list, I have now my AI model. Okay, so I mentioned that uh, if you want to add an application that is not here, uh, I mean, if you want to deploy an application that is not here, you need it to add previously to your, to your library. Uh, one way was this one, adding a new application from your computer but uh, as part of your license, you have access to Barbara Marketplace. Uh, Barbara Marketplace, you can access through this menu. Barbara Marketplace is, um, is a hub of applications, uh, ready-to-go applications that you can download to your library for later be installed in your computer. You will see applications related to uh, business intelligence. You have uh, also some connectors. You have, you have even have some uh, artificial intelligence models that have been deployed by uh, third parties. Um, so in my case, for example, I'm going to download, I'm going to install, let's say I would like to have a MongoExpress, a MongoExpress uh, database. So by entering into the details, I would just add it to my library. You will see that some applications have cost, but most of them are free, are included in your license. So you, you will have the, like, the information here before installing to your library. And just by clicking add to library, you will add it to your library. So if I go back to Barbara panel, and I now check my library, I should say, I should see, okay, here, MongoExpress in, in my library, this means that now I am able to uh, deploy the application to any of my nodes. And that is basically it. You have seen how easy it is to manage your edge nodes and deploy apps and AI models on them with Barbara. If you want a more in-depth demo or get the specific details about how certain operations are done with Barbara, just send us a mail to demo at barbara.tech or visit our website barbara.tech slash demo.